Come check this out. The longest annual charity bike ride in the world finally crossed the finish line in Anchorage, Alaska. 48 college students from UT Austin rode for 70 days through 20 states and one other country, all to raise money for the fight for cancer. I think it's a very noble and valiant thing that those students did. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of different um, weather patterns to have to ride through. Ashley, I know as they started here in Central Texas, it started off hot. Yeah, and then depending on where route they went through, they probably had to deal with some rain, probably some cooler temperatures, the whole nine. But as they return back to Central Texas, it's going to be hot, probably as hot as when they just left. But the good news is by the time we get to the later half of this work week, that's when some changes are going to be on the way. Not only are we going to see cooler, a little bit more seasonable temperatures, but we also have the chance to see some of that necessary rain and we could use both right now considering we're up to 61 triple digit days for the year. Usually on average only seeing about 20 since the month of May. We've been on this leaderboard when it's come to the hottest months on record. No different for the month of August. We're at the number two spot right now. Now that we're halfway done through the month and today and tomorrow's forecast really not helping out with that. We're also on the board for one of the driest starts to the year on record only picked up a trace of rain in total this month. And we are well below average now. Unfortunately, not going to get any help when it comes to that rainfall for your Tuesday. This is your look at radar this morning. Showers and storms are not in the vicinity of us here in Central Texas. We are dealing with some of that low lying cloud coverage and as that sun gets up and going, you'll be able to see it a little bit more. This is your look over in Harker Heights, 77 degrees right now as that sun's getting up. 78 is what those feel like temperatures are a little bit cooler in Temple, 76 degrees as you get out and about. But as you take these kids off to the bus stop, it's going to feel a little bit different walking there today than it did just yesterday. We're warm. We're muggy in the upper 70s again with those feel like temperatures in some areas, especially Waco where those kids are starting school a couple of degrees above. Now it only gets hotter from here as we'll be in the 90s by the time those kids head off to lunch and then we're going to see another widespread triple digit day. So definitely going to want to find ways to stay hydrated if you have some outdoor afternoon activities, whether you're in school or whether you just have to walk the dog, maybe go on for an afternoon run. Tomorrow afternoon runs aren't going to be probably something you'll want to do as we'll see another widespread triple digit day, a couple of degrees hotter versus today, and then we get to your Thursday and that's really when we're going to start to see some of those major changes. Pop up showers are going to be possible by the time we get into your Wednesday afternoon. That's because of a cold front moving from North Texas is going to start to make its way further south, but our main activity is going to hold off into your Thursday late morning into Thursday early afternoon. Showers continue as you start to head home from work. Heavy rain is going to be something that will be possible during this time frame, and then we'll start to dry things out as you head to bed. Now heading out the door Friday morning, maybe you want to get that umbrella by the time you head home from work. However, we'll start to clear things out. Then we have a chance for some light showers for your Saturday afternoon just scattered in nature. So what we're dealing with again, that heavy rainfall is really going to bring these rainfall totals to where we really need them to be considering we're in that exceptional drought an inch and an inch and a quarter in some of those western zones as well as some higher amounts in some of our eastern zones. But even where the rainfall is not that much cooler temperatures guys.